guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Creative Creations. I'm Latoya and thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel to hang out with me. Today's video is an updated version of my chip bag template for Crooked. I have created an SVG file for the chip bag template that will hopefully help make it easier for those of you who enjoy designing in Crooked Design Space. I'm going to also share with you all a tip on how to print a full size chip bag over in Crooked and I'm going to show you how to use the SVG file to create a chip bag. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Also, if you find this video helpful, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned. Right, so the first thing you want to do is log into Crooked Design Space and pull up a blank canvas. You're going to go to the Upload tab. You're going to go to Upload. From here, you're going to find the file where you save your templates at, and you're going to upload the SVG file of the template. Cricut does provide you with two different options when uploaded. You can click here and upload from there, or you can select the file and drag and drop it. Click Save, Select, and Insert Image. All right, now that the template is uploaded, you can make it a little bit larger so that you can see what you're doing. If you go off to the side here, you can see that the template is broken up into pieces. And the way to change each piece, you would click on the piece. And if you wanted to change this top banner a different color, this top border, you can click the color tab and you can change the color here. If you didn't want to use a solid color and you wanted to use a pattern that you uploaded, you can go to the Fill tab, select Print, click here, select Pattern, and select the pattern you would like to use. All right, as you can see, that pattern is now in here. I'm going to make this larger so I can see. All right, so the pattern has now filled this shape. And you can do the same thing with all of your other shapes. Now you can either fill the shapes with a pattern or a solid color. Let's select the middle. See there? Now, um... I'm going to show you how to upload a pattern. If you don't know how to upload a pattern, you go to the Upload tab, select Upload Pattern, and upload the pattern you would like to add. Once you have uploaded the pattern you want to add, you can go back to your design, click the section that you want to fill it with, go to Pattern, and from here, you can select that pattern that you just uploaded, that you want to fill the shape in with. Now, it does take a, quite a few seconds to upload, but eventually it will upload. And there you go. And you can do the same thing with your other sections. Now, I'm going to do my two sides. Select the sides over here. I want this to be a pattern also. Select print. All right, so there you have it. If you wanted to use solid colors, you would just make this a solid color. If you wanted to use a pattern, you would just select your pattern that you want to use. Now you can go ahead and upload the rest of your items like your, your um, nutritional fact 
label in your barcode and your main clip arts that you want to use for the middle and also we're going to add some text also wanted to mention when you download your files the files are so large so i had to put them in zip files you have to unzip the files before you can upload them to any software if you don't unzip them they're going to look like this you have to click here to extract all After you extract your files, you will be able to see the images. So I'm going to upload my nutritional facts label. Save it as a print, then cut. Go back and upload my barcode. Okay, so now I'm going to select all of the clip arts that I want to upload. change this font style you can go click here and you can select a different font that you want to use I'm gonna make it smaller All right, so you can continue to add more text if you like for just for this example I'm just gonna stop here like you can have like a thank you message off to the side You can put the child name at the bottom. So once you have finished your design you want to select everything And you're gonna group it together So after you group everything together you want to go off to the side and make sure that every um, element says cut print cut print cut print cut print okay if it doesn't you just want to select that section go up to the fill and select print okay the same thing with your text make sure it says cut print okay so once everything is grouped together you want to go down to attach it that everything is attached you want to flatten now in Cricut design space your options are limited when you're doing a print and cut image to avoid this you can resize this image as large as you can if you're working on a Windows computer you have a snipping tool so I would resize it to fit the screen here This is just about as big as I'm going to get it. I'm going to find my snipping tool. I'm going to select new and I'm going to select the area. And now I have this image where I can just print it from here. I also wanted to show you guys another option that I have figured out that you can do. It's going to help with the quality of your image because sometimes when you snip the image, it may not be the best quality image. So this is going to hopefully resolve that issue. 
So what you do, you're going to have to size this down to where Cricut wants you to resize it. And you can click here. It says that it has to be at least 6.75 by 9.25. So I'm going to resize this to 9.25 and see if that works. So I did have to size it down some more. I had to make the height 6.75 and that way it's not giving me that warning message anymore. So what you do next is select make. We're not going to cut anything. I continue. Your machine doesn't even have to be um, plugged up. What you want to do is send this to your printer. When it says printers from here, don't select your printer. You want to select, you want to save this as, you want to print this as a PDF file. So select this, turn off the bleed and print. From here, you want to name this file and save it to your computer. Step is to convert that PDF file that we just saved to an image. Now, I'm sure there are a ton of different other websites that you can use to do this, but the website that I use and it's free is online to pdf.com. And I'll also link the website in the description box down below. So once you enter the website, you want to select files, your file that you save, open. Okay, once it's uploaded, you're going to Go down here where it says convert to, scroll down, and we want to convert this to a PNG file or a JPEG. And we're going to select convert. Give it a few minutes to upload. your image uploads you're going to see it here it's going to appear um, depending on your computer and your editing um, program that you have like for instance mine when I upload a photo I can edit the photo so I'm going to click here because I want to crop out this box around the photo and I'm just going to save it Okay, so from I'm going to print out my photo that I just saved. I'm going to select my printer. I'm printing this out on the glossy photo paper. So I want to make sure I select photo paper. And I want it to be the best quality. And I want it to fit the frame if, you're, if your printing settings is like this. And I want to make sure I print it as a full page. All right, guys, that's it. This is how it looks once printed out. Hopefully, this tip helped you all avoid having to resize your chip bags, making them smaller and harder to fit a full size bag of chips in them. If you still have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment down below. And you can find this template over in my Etsy shop and also on my website. So much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and follow me on all of my social media channels. And check out my website, hangingwithkiddos.com. Bye.